today I'm going to show you an easy way to add to a calendar at school if you need to. So if you go up here and you click on this little button if you're in your Gmail, you'll see all the Google apps for education that we often use here at school. If I click on calendar, I'm then going to see my calendar that is set up with my CCS email account. And you'll also see that I have created some other calendars for each one of the iPad cards and a master calendar from last year actually. So down below any calendars that I've wanted to look at I can then see right there as well. So these are calendars that I have the ability to look at that's been shared with me. So for instance, let's say that there's a coworker that I want to go see their calendar and if it's available, all I have to do is search them using their email address and click on it. If it's available, it's going to show up on this nice little grouping that I have over here of all the calendars that I see every day. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can add something to one of the iPad cart calendars. So let's say that tomorrow at 1130 I want to um, add to the calendar for one of the iPad cards. So on this day I'm going to type in what it is um, I need or a description and then I'm going to click which iPad cart that I need that to be. Most of you are only going to, going to see one cart but you just always need to make sure that you click here on which one it is because it's always going to default to your calendar and that's never where you want it to show up because no one else will be able to see that you've checked anything out. So I would click on the calendar that I want and then I'm going to create an event. But let's say I I really want to meet at a needed at 1135. So I could go right here to edit event and it gives me some more detail that I could change. And I could even say um, where I'm going to be. And I could change the color if I wanted to, to, to make it. I can make a description, but the really neat thing right here is I can click on repeat. So let's say that every week on Wednesday, I'm going to need that. Or maybe when you're doing it, you're going to put, I need these five iPads every week from now on until the end of the year. So I'm going to put, you know, after six weeks, it'll be done. And then when I click on done, that's going to show up on the calendar every time. I don't have to redo it each time. That's really nice. So because I'm working with Ms. Smith on this, I might actually send her an email as well so that she knows, hey, this has already been done. Just want you to be aware of it. And I can let her know that it's been added as well. Once I get all of it the way I want to, I would go up and I would click the word save.